I'm in Melbourne, Australia, and today we're checking in to a five-star hotel, Le Meridian. It's part of the Melbourne uh, Marriott brand, so we're staying here for a few nights. Let's head in and see what this hotel has to offer. Oh, well, they have a welcome sign here. Le Meridian acknowledges the Wai Warung people. These are the Aboriginal people. Amazing. Let's head in. You can see we've got the metro. That just defines how livable Melbourne city is. Melbourne is actually the most livable city in the world. So here we go. This is the uh, reception area. We've got the cafe over here. As you can see, it's like cinema themed. There's like a restaurant down here and then check in over here. Let's check out the room. It's room 10. 12. It's not just any room, it is in fact a suite and it's called the Parliament Suite. You guys will find out why. Let me tell you, this is without a doubt the most modern room I've ever stayed in. This hotel was built in March 2023, therefore it is very modern. Let me start with the dining slash lounge room. They've given me a lovely gift here. We'll be trying this. Look at that presentation. It's got like a pearl on it. We'll be trying it. We've also got some Shiraz red wine, which is funnily enough, the only red wine that I can say that I like and have had. I am not a wine person. I've been getting into wine recently. I won't bore you with the details, but yeah, that's the only wine that I say. If they ask me what wine I want, I say I want Shiraz wine. So I guess it, I'm pretty sure it's an Australian wine. So we'll be trying that. They've also given us a nice note, um, just uh, saying welcome and stuff. You can also notice that I've got my 1 million subscriber uh, plaque here, the gold plaque. I got it delivered to Australia because I'm here for a little bit. And yeah, I'm just over the moon. I'm not going to be mentioning this on YouTube too much, but yeah, just so grateful. I did not expect it. This is on my other channel, I think. Um, but yeah, thank you so much if you subscribed and yeah. Hopefully we get many more in the future. I love this room because it's so spacious. We've got the bedroom in there. We've got like, it's almost like three rooms. This is the kitchen and they've got a little bit of gin here. This is like a Florence gin. I haven't tried it personally. Maybe we will a little bit later. You guys will see. What I love is the coffee machine. This is, coffee machine is beautiful. It's literally like going down. I haven't had any Melbourne coffee, which is world famous because my coffee machine is just too good. They've also got like peppermint tea, chamomile tea. This is my stuff. Um, so yeah, also like not just, uh, you know, we've got stuff to cook. If you want to cook, we've got a fridge um, full of, these are hotel items, so I do have to pay for this, but like still, it's nice to have the options. You know, if I'm really can, want something convenient, this is what I bought, this is not included. And yeah, just like a really nice area. We've also got like stuff to store if you need. So this is like, you could stay here for a little bit longer than more than the holiday. It's just a bathroom in here. And then this is what I love about this place. This is just very uh, modern, very modern. Like design is cool, chic. Um, another work area over here. You know, I like actually that I can do some, some standing work. I haven't been working here, I've been working over there, but it's cool. We've got some like vibey books. Don't think I'll be reading them, but it's more for show. Um, TV is great because you can connect your phone to it uh, through Google. So you can watch YouTube and Netflix. Uh, this is what I'm saying about it being modern. The views of Melbourne. And you can see that is why they call it the Parliament Suite because you can see the Parliament the Melbourne slash Australian Parliament. It's not the capital Melbourne, Canberra is the capital. However, it's a very important city. This is the CBD. Unfortunately, the weather has not held up today in Melbourne. As, as you guys may know, Melbourne is known for being very fickle when it comes to weather. And uh, ironically, it was blue skies a few hours ago, but I didn't film the hotel tour. And I was like, do I film in this gray sky or do I wait? And I thought, you know what, whilst we've got the presentation of the cake, I'll just go for it. So it's usually a nice, lovely day. We've got the MCG in the background and it looks like they're playing at the moment. And then we've got this lovely pool, which I've been hanging out every day. And we're going we're gonna to be going there a little bit later. But yeah, such a cool room, very quiet. I've got my own piece and 
relaxation. Another cool feature, which I'm gonna prove to you how modern this room is, is I can just do that. There we go. Little things like this, just to go to show how modern the room is. Oh, and it's stuck. Probably should fix that myself, but anyway. And probably my one of my favorite things about this room, oh, there's, there's, there's just so many. The art, the everything. But this, this chair here is my meditation chair, which I meditate on every morning. And it's the comfiest chair you may ever see in your life. So I'm gonna be hopefully buying one of these when I eventually get a house. And little thing, I'm gonna go over every little thing is they've got dominoes, I think this is called. Um, haven't played it yet personally, but I won't, I won't try and break it, but maybe we'll play later over a glass of wine if I have any guests. And um, I'll try that in a minute, but yeah, this is the master bedroom. And this is where you get to see the proper views. We've got the parliament over there, and we've got the flags, we've got Australian flags. There's a park there, I've been walking around, this is the CBD and it's just like, Melbourne is just so accessible. You can just get anywhere, anywhere in the city in, in you know, a few minutes. We've got like metro stations down there. The metro is really like cool in Melbourne. You can just hop on, uh, it's free in the CBD and then you just get into town. And so I can, I've been walking around the area every day and it's just, this feels like this is prime location. Yeah, and just like obviously comfy double bed. We got like this theme. This is the movie theme of the of the hotel. It's a movie themed hotel, and um, and then speaker here is included. This is a really cool speaker. Um, this is talking about some of the services. We got restaurants. They're talking about. We got in room dining. We might get a little bit of that later. Coffee. They're talking about the coffee machine, which I've already showed you. But we'll just check the. Bed. I have already slept on these beds, so I do know, but we'll just show for you guys is like, yeah, super soft, exactly how I like it. Sleeping like a baby, as per usual. And then we've got a spacious bathroom. Oh, there's an echo. Hello. Interesting. Um, and what I have not mentioned yet is just how clean this hotel is. Obviously, it was found, it was started in March. Uh, so it's less than a year old and you can really tell, like if I'm going into details here, just like there's no dust, everything's super clean, all the fittings, look at that water pressure right there, everything's modern. I've made it a little bit dirty, that was that was me, not the, not the hotel. And then even down to Dyson hair vacuums. Look at that, there's literally how does air come out of that? Interesting, we'll have to try that a little bit later. But uh, I never used a Dyson, but I know they're very expensive. So no expenses have been spared, even down to the flowers. I don't know if that's real. That looks fake to me. But then it wouldn't have the water. Interesting. We diverge. Oh, another thing. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be really as nitty picky just for you guys to experience how um, amazing this hotel is, is like, even down to never been given mouthwash from a hotel in my life. They've got moisturizer, they've got soap, everything. It's just like extremely over prepared. I love it. I love these things. I love the little, I try and notice the fine details, even down to how many plugs there are in the room. There's so many plugs, even down to USB-C and USB, the other type, I don't know what it's called. Really cool. You see there's thunder in Melbourne. And finally, before I go down for dinner, which I will be having in this uh, hotel, which is apparently delicious, we're gonna indulge in a little bit of a treat and a little bit of a red wine. So join me. Unfortunately, I have no guests, but for those of you who are attentive and have been paying good attention, and I wonder how many people will realize that I have actually used these two glasses already. A little bit sneaky of me. So I had a guest round. I guess you guys will have to uh, guess who I had round. But I have already opened this bottle of wine, so I have tried it before, but we're gonna try it again. So we're gonna pour it like they do in the, uh, I don't actually know how they do it in the restaurants. And we're gonna try it, oh, not too much. No one yet, drunk. And we're gonna try it exactly how you're supposed to try it. I'm trying to improve my wine palette, ah, fruity, 
zesty and I think I can get a bit of yeah South Melbourne I'm thinking yeah east south we're looking on the coastline maybe a hundred miles in yeah I can tell where that is yeah for sure <laughs> Yep. I'd say that's a 6 out of 10. No, I'm joking. I don't know wine at all. I have no clue what I'm talking about. So unfortunately, wine goes straight over my head. And yeah, especially when I get drunk. So it's a good wine. That's all I can tell you. I don't know what this is, but it looks delicious. And I love the presentation. I want to try this pearl. I wonder if it's all edible. It's like a cake. Oh, there's flowers in the middle as well. Okay. Oh God, I'm spilling it. Good start. And stay tuned because we're actually going to go for dinner straight after this. So I probably shouldn't have too much, but you know, you got to receive the gift. Mmm, so fruity. It almost tastes like it's healthy. Maybe it is healthy. Do you think this is edible? Oh yeah, it is. Mm. Oh, it's chocolate. So. Let's go and see what else this hotel has to offer. It's time for food and I'm gonna order room service because convenience is amazing. We have breakfast, all day dining, and then late night. I'm gonna go hard. I'm gonna I'm gonna order some insane dishes. So let's try and figure this out. Get ready for this order. Hello? Hi Erin, uh, good evening. Please could I order some room service? Of course, and how many guests are we covering for tonight? Just one. Okay, what would you like? Um, please may I have the uh, Angus strip loin? Sure, and how would you like that one? Uh, medium rare, please. And are you after any sides with this one? Uh, it, it come, does it come on its own? Okay, uh, I'll get the green beans, please. And are you after any desserts or beverages? Um, could I also get the also, also just uh, one oyster? And anything else tonight? And um, no, that's it. That's everything actually. It'll be one of the Parwin Prime three hundred gram Angus strip loin on the bone, cooked to medium rare, followed by one serving of the green beans, peas, and broad beans. And along with one seasonal oyster. Yes, sounds great. Cool. Thank you. So this order will also incur a five dollar trade charge. Would that be okay? Yes, that's absolutely fine. Thanks for that. So I've just put your order through. It should be delivered to you within thirty-five to forty-five minutes. Amazing. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Have a lovely evening. Okay. Have a lovely evening. You too. Bye. Bye. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Ah, awesome. There we go. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you, and you. Ladies and gentlemen, the food has arrived. <sighs> the smell of freedom and celebration. Look at that. So bougie. I don't know why oysters just remind me of bouginess. We'll put this over here so we have a bit of space. I'm also gonna crack open a Diet Pepsi. I know a little bit boring when I do have some, some red wine, but I feel like I don't wanna drink red wine on my own. That is for when guests come. Okay, let's dig in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we may begin the feast. First of all, don't mind if I do. Oh, how'd you do this? Oh, you just shake it, what? Of course. I'm being an idiot, everyone. Apologies. What am I like? Can't take me anywhere. Okay. We've also got some lovely tomato sauce, some mayonnaise. We're gonna go for the oyster. It's a, quite a small oyster, but it probably packs a punch. It's got some ice, and then we just squeeze a little bit of lemon just to get rid of the, the fishy taste. 
I'm not really a oyster connoisseur, but uh, I do like an oyster, so let's try it. Some people would absolutely hate this, so I'm interested to see it. I mean, it doesn't look the most appetizing and it. The texture is weird, but I like it. I don't know why I like it. It's a good thing I like it because if you, if you don't like it, you're missing out. Unfortunately, the texture is just not great, but it tastes good, so I can't complain. Next up we have, I think it's 300 gram, I wanna say, steak. Probably Australian, very well fed, very well matured steak. I hope the cow had a, a lovely life. We put the butter on, let it melt a little bit. Well, maybe it's ice cream, it looks like ice cream. As you can tell, I'm not very cultured when it comes to food. And then some uh, delicious greens. I wanted to go healthy. Don't know why. I was just feeling like it. So let's just wait for this to melt a little bit. Or maybe we'll just go for it. We're going to go for it. As you can see, medium rare. Just how I like it. And let's try it out. I'm in love with steak. I could eat this every day. Fortunately, it's a little bit expensive, so I can't be affording it every day, but it's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. We've got a little bit of salad, a little bit of protein, a little bit of oyster, and a little bit of vegetables. Can't be complaining, can we? And I didn't even have to move a muscle to get this. It's just convenience. I'm feeling very grateful. I'm just blessed to be able to have um, this meal. So yeah, thanking God, thanking everyone watching. It's not over yet. We're going to be trying some food at the pool because it's a completely different vibe over there. Breakfast again. And uh, there's some more facilities to show you at this place. It's the next day and it's time to show you the pool. Go for a dip. You can see Melbourne for me feels like a little bit like New York, but a better designed version of New York. It's all like blocks and lots of greenery, lots of bars, graffiti everywhere. And then this is like the only skyscrapers in the city because it's CBD. Once you get out of this area, there's no more skyscrapers. So this is the pool, let's jump in. As you can see behind me, Melbourne weather is pretty cloudy. This is actually another day. I've been staying here for, this is like my fourth day now, I think. The sun comes for 10 minutes, goes for 10 minutes, rains for 10 minutes, windy for 10 minutes, <laughs> but the temperature stays the same. It's like 20, so just okay for me. I'm British, so that's still warm. Anyway, yeah, nice pool. You don't really get this in many places. It's a luxury. And since we're by the pool, we're gonna order some food. You can actually do it on your phone. So I'm gonna go for, I've never had this before, a Wagyu beef burger. Wagyu seems to be very popular in Australia. And it comes with fries or salad. Which one do you want? <laughs> I'm feeling healthy, so I'm gonna go for salad. Sorry if that's, it's not very interesting content for you guys. Okay, let's go for it. Not bad at all. All right, we got a nice little burger. Ooh, salad instead of chips. That's so tasty. First Wagyu burger, and definitely not the last. You can also see, we got a very delicious salad. Just what I needed. The perfect pool snack. The bun is like very delicious, typical bun. The burger, the beef is like very, it yeah, tastes exactly like Wagyu. So much flavor. Actually, this competes with like Five Guys. I'm not a big like burger you know, person, but 
this competes with five guys. Okay guys, it's the end of my time here. I'm about to check out. Before I check out, I wanna do a little summary and maybe give uh, the Hotel Le Meridian a rating um, out of 50, I'd say. Um, so we're gonna go through, I've been doing this for the most recent hotels. I might continue to do this if people appreciate it. So basically I've got five different things, five different factors. The first one is cleanliness and service. I gave it a nine out of 10, literally because it's new. So obviously it's so clean, everything's new. And what I find it adds value with is the appliances, like the coffee machine, the washing dryer, you know, the microwave, everything is just so, it feels like we're in the future in this hotel room. Uh, value for money, seven out of 10, obviously, five-star hotel in the middle of Melbourne. You're not gonna get crazy good prices, but uh, it's not bad at all. Facilities, eight out of 10, obviously it's got the pool overlooking the Melbourne skyline. It's got the sauna, it's got a gym very well equipped. I usually would go outside of the hotel to use the gym. However, every gym workout I've done in the hotel because it's good enough. The food, uh, I give seven out of 10, uh, just because obviously it was delicious. There wasn't a crazy wide range of food, but it was very, very good food. And yeah, obviously competing with like the hotels around the world. So it's very good. Location, nine out of 10, purely because it's Melbourne CBD. I mean, it doesn't really get much better. Uh, we've got the parliament right next to me. We've got all the shops I would need. I can jump on the tram and get anywhere in Melbourne. So doesn't really get much better. I, I would give it a 10, but I just don't give 10s. <laughs> so that is a total of 40 out of 50, which is the highest score I've given so far um, in the hotels that I've reviewed. So I'd say that just goes to show you guys should book it if you're coming to Melbourne. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.